sandstorm. Ooh, ooh. Church here with Rest and Wreck. We're here driving through beautiful Death Valley, California. We're in the town of Trona right now. I'm sitting here next to my brand new fiance. <laughs> Say hi, Courtney. Hello. Anyway, we're receiving lots of messages as you can imagine. Um, I thought I'd take this time to talk to you about the defense of handwritten dialogues. That's the way to do it. That's old school. Yeah. <laughs> I know that living in current year, we've all transitioned to digital dialogues and digital certificates. However, if you are lucky enough to come across an old dinosaur relic like this, I strongly recommend getting one. And here's why. So, it comes with a couple old instruction manuals. For instance, this bad boy right here comes with it. This was the legacy of the old dive logs, as you can see here. It features all of your first beginner dives, and it keeps track of your progression. I'll be completely honest with you. This is pretty much useless. Now, as for the rest of the log, what I recommend is getting some waterproof paper. That way you can hand jam your information into here like the good old fashioned divers back in the day. And what you can do is whenever you go to dive sites, especially older ones, they have stamps where they verify the dive that you just did. Like the other day I did the crater. Uh, I'm sure that you've seen the video from my dive site review. This is the stamp that they offer. You can't digitally log a stamp. It also gives you a place to hold on to your dive credentials. And I'm a firm believer that you should always have something to write with and write on, just in the event that you need to annotate something. New card. What do you think? I haven't found my old Regulators Dive Club card. <laughs> Anyway, I know this was a short video. Tell me your thoughts down in the comments section below. Until next time, church out.